Wednesday morning. It wasn't very good last week, but I say it all the time. Wednesday midweek boots out is my favourite. Getting positive vibes. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to find some cool, quirky stuff. I think. How much on your vice? Okay. Off to a similar start as last week. 50 quid for that vice. Bloody hell. Let's hope it's better than last week. Mm. How much on your computer bits here? Uh, yeah. So there. Okay, like the telly thing, yeah. You do eight quid for them two together? Yeah? Cool. There's eight there. Let's see uh, good man. Lovely, thank you. Thanks for that, cheers. That's right, something a bit different. It's got a computer system, something I don't usually do, like PC unit. It's got like a CD rewriter, speakers for a quid. Sorry? Car. How much on your book? Uh, it's not a plan, but man, fiver. Fiver? Need a car to go with it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get that one, please. Uh, haven't looked it up or anything. There's people gathering around it, but nice McLaren, like in a nice case. Looks like a book about the showroom and stuff, so obviously a very nice luxury car, collectible. Didn't look it up, but I've taken a chance. Let's see. And this is like a fold out picnic set. Yeah, uh, only one chair. I think. No, two chairs. Uh, quite a lot of chipping. I usually pick them up, but that one's got quite a lot of chips to the top of the table, so leave it for now. Skateboarding we worth looking at underneath. These ones look battered though. Red Bull, Oculo skateboards. Titleist golf bag. How much on the golf bag? Ten pound each. The golf bag. Okay. <clears throat> cool. How about them hangers as well? Five for the. Okay. We do twelve together. Uh, that and them. Do for, hey, fine. No, for me, yeah. no, that's fine. I'll do that. <laughs> All right. A lot better than last week already. It's gonna be expensive. Okay. So I leave on. No, it's expensive. Tease. Golf mate. Mm. Nice biker jacket. What can we say? That's cold, isn't it? How much on the jacket here? Twenty. Okay. Twenty. Okay price, but I'm doing quite good today. I don't need to spend up twenty to make like fifty, sixty. And then take away your fees and you're basically doubling up from twenty quid. Which is all right, but we're going to be spending two quid into 20, ideally. Yeah, it's original. How much on you, Kenny? I got a ten on that one, mate. Ten. Oh, chucking. Ten pound for a soft toy, I'll leave that. Oh. A bedtime alarm is going off again. Get out of bed, George. Quick pit stop back at the car. Already doing a lot better than last week. Don't know if you saw, but I've got this Titleist vintage golf bag. So he was asking 10, and then I saw on the ground, do a bit of a multi deal, get a bit of money off. He was asking five, and all these 
Musto, really nice wooden hangers. You want your fiver for all them. Got both for 13, so I saved a couple of quid. So if you find Musto coats and jackets, always worth picking up, bit of a bolo. So I'm not sure on the hangers, but um, yeah, nice little deal there. We'll come back to that one, I'll research that in a minute. Okay, got this PC unit, not something I usually do. But I had last week in my head, like, ah, oh, it seems decent, it's cheap. Yes, just HP system, i5, Windows 7. Yeah, just like a compact unit, which came with this like CD, DVD writer. I think it's a writer anyway. Quite cool, all this for eight quid. And then some Dell speakers to match them up. So I'm pretty sure it's profit in that, as long as it's working, obviously. And then paid five for this, just off the cuff, paid five. This for a book, which I don't usually do, but something was telling me. Yeah, it's worth it. Oh, a bit of a fail. They sell, but $14.99 plus postage. Obviously I've paid five, get 15, takeaway fees. Probably be getting 11, 12 pounds after fees. So I'm making money again, but not as much as I thought. I was hoping, like at least 30 quid. Nice display box in that McLaren. But you know, the gamble didn't pay off too well that time, but I've got some other stuff to make up for it. And a fail is still making money, so. I'll take that. Let's get back out there. How much on the pen? A couple of quid, please. Yeah. Texas. Yeah, I used to have it. It's like Did a recording have... one, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd take that, please. Yeah, I had a lot of James Bond stuff. And, uh, oh, yeah? Yeah. I'll, I'll take the cars more than that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry? I think that came with one of the cars I bought. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, but different. Something Sorry? different. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, I'll take that for a couple of quid, even just for nostalgia. I used to collect the James Bond magazines. I think it was like very early 2000s, maybe like 2002 time-ish. And you got a digital recording pen. I think it was an additional extra. Can't remember if it came free with the magazine, but yeah. Oh, there you go, 2002. Oh, that was bang on. Look at that. Yeah, this one looks brand new in the box, so new old stock. Technically vintage as well, over 20 years old. That is cool, two quid. I don't really care if it's not worth much. Nostalgic hit for me. Too small. Ooh. Too small, too dirty. Nice colour, burgundy colour. Typing's very stiff though. How much on the typewriter down here? Uh, 25. 25, okay. Yeah, it's getting a bit of rust to the letters. Very stiff. Still works, just needs a bit of oil. And it's 25 quid, but. Nice burgundy colour, Olympia. I'll leave it for a minute. Just been doing a bit of research on the burgundy Olympia typewriter. People are asking 290, 249, 240, but that's what people are asking. If you actually go to sold, sold items, none have actually sold in that colour at that price. So high, high asking price. Obviously he's asking 25. It's a bit of lube, but would it sell? That's the thing. So he's asking 25, say I get it for 20, 22. Yeah, and then how long is it going to sit? And how much of a profit could I get? He might end up selling for only 80. I'm going to have to wait a year. So, one to think on. I don't think it will sell for 25 in the meantime. These usually sell okay. Oh, it's got to be super careful because it is razor sharp. How much on the slicer? Anyone? Down the far end there. Oh, is he? Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'll give this a couple of quid. I'm going to make a little bundle here.
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, you okay? Yeah, bad, yeah. That's it's good. good. Right? Yeah? So I'm starting it this year, so it was for me last week. Um, I did alright today so far. It's just the weather, isn't it? Slow start, yeah, wet, just want, like, rainy. Solid, you know, warmth. Yeah, we are. that'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, mate. I got a little box going. No problem. Got these three in there. Just okay. Seeing prices. That's a little one there as well. Uh, seven pounds, please. Yeah. You seven pounds for like all that box. Bargain. Vintage Pyrex with lid. Perfect. Thank you. Cheers. Actually, might not need the box. Just missing one lid, so I'm hoping it's around here somewhere. Uh, nah. Still a bargain. It'd be nice to absolutely complete it with the lids. Uh, Doing a bit of research on eBay again, going on that Olympia typewriter, the burgundy one. Gone on to Terra Peak, so we're going back two years worth of solds and vintage Olympia burgundy working order as an auction. I don't think you see that, £169.45 and that's sold. Another one, only £39.99. There's another one, again, burgundy working, £143 as an auction. So. £91 as an auction, £98, 195 so it's definitely worth it. Just obviously, it might take a bit longer to sell, so he's asking 25 So if it is still there, I might pick it up. Here you go, it's still there, playing it cool. I'm not overly eager or interested, that's nice though. Oh, that's really nice. Just needs a good loosen up really. Was that 25, did you say this one? Yeah. Yeah. It takes longer to sell and it's not in perfect condition for collectors. The 20 by it? Well, yeah? yeah? Yeah, I'll take it. Needs a bit of uh, lube, that's all, a bit of oil or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a bit stiff, but it's all there. Yeah, nice case with it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, 15, 20. Cheers, cool, cheers. Ooh. Cheers, mate. Thanks. I wrapped the car again. Ended up getting it. Did get it for 20 in the end. I was umming and ahhing a lot just because of the condition. But yeah, 20 quid. I'm actually happy with the 20 quid. There you go. It's really nice. I've never seen the typewriter in this really nice burgundy colour before. That's so that's what sold it and that's what demands the higher prices. But yeah, slight bit of rust in to the keys, but I reckon I can scrub that off. And then it's just the keys that are very stiff, but they do work and the carriage moves along. So overall should be sorted but if not even in this condition for someone that are enthusiast to sort it out properly 20 quid i'm still gonna make plenty of profit i reckon but how much of a profit and how long it'll take that is the question what else we got in my bag as the 007 pen couldn't find a price on it but yeah two quid always picking that up and for seven quid absolute bargain this will go 15, 18, top end 20 on its own. Gourmet V slicer, like a made in Germany one. The modern ones and that don't tend to sell well, even though it's the exact same thing. But these proper V slicer ones, you know, cheap and cheerful, sell quick. And then within the same deal, got a load of vintage Pyrex. Hoping this is the best one. It's not quite the gooseberry design, but it's the same colour, really nice colour. It's like a cockerel, some sort of hay bales going on. Farmers and his wife, farmer's wife, <laughs> some crops. Put it to one side, it's got the lid with that one. Then had the matches, ooh, matches set of three, which are all the same design. Peppers, mushrooms, onions, is that? I'm not sure. Yeah, vintage Pyrex, all three, but I've only got two lids. So yeah, we've got the, what's that, medium and big one. The small one's missing its lid, I don't know if it should have one. But yeah, seven quid for this and that and that is an absolute bargain, but a good time if you don't know. Google Lens, here you go. On my phone, it's on the home screen. Just press the camera, and then as if by magic, we'll literally take a picture of this said design. So, like that, take a picture, and then as if by magic, we should find the results. Here we go. It's already come up. Pyrex 473 Butterprint is apparently that one. Oh, there you go. 
Butterprint casserole dish. Let's see what prices we got. So I've got my Google Lens results, Pyrex 473 butter dish, gone to sold, and without the lid, looking at £15, £20, £18. Then it's on in the States with a lid, £26, so the equivalent of £45. A couple of the matching ones for 60 odd there, 38 there, for seven quid for this, we're looking at hopefully 40, 45 pounds just for that on its own. That's another 15, 18 pounds. And then I've got the nice matching set of three as well. I'm on a bit of a budget this month with things going on in the background. More to come on that. I'm literally down to my last five pound. What was that? One, two, three. Oh no, five pound 50. Run out of notes, but I'm not going to go home yet. I'm going to see if I can spend my five pound 50 because what you can buy with a fiber can surprise you. So yeah, I'm not going home just yet. Let's go around again before I do go. See what five pounds can get you. Oh yeah, yeah, you good? Good, busy, <laughs> but good to be busy, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's been okay recently. A couple of weeks ago, it was quite sluggish, but. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got quite a few at home still to yeah. test. I keep putting them off. Do you want those five of the pair? You're tempting me. I'll take them two then for a fiver, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to leave me a minute? So I'm, I'm shooting off in a minute. Got right, yeah. school run to do, All so. Right, yeah. <laughs> All right. Cheers, mate. Thanks. See you later. Yeah, okay, so that didn't take long. Fiverr for two video cameras. Bought from a subscriber, so that's all good. Done me a deal. But yeah, come with the case, it's got the chargers and that. We've got a Sony Handycam, Video 8. Looks a bit loose, I don't know if this one would work. But again, five, like £2.50 each. I saw it had its charger and battery. And as I say, I always split out the batteries and chargers. They're always worth money. If the main unit itself is knackered, I don't go. Could still work, you never know. But <laughs> the sides just fallen off for £2.50 with the chargers and that. Yeah, again, same deal. This one is a JVC. JVC compact VHS this time. This one looks in a lot nicer condition. And again, comes with its case, got a battery, battery charger. I think there's some extras in here, extra wires and stuff. So again, £2.50, absolutely no brainer. Add it to the pile. If it is all working, like 40, 50 quid minimum. Obviously for parts and that for this one, uh, like, I hope that's worth like 15 to 20. So after a bit of a slow week last week and I was starting to worry that my favorite brew sale was gonna start going downhill and it's gonna be hard work. This morning, I've been here barely an hour and I've got a lot of decent stuff. Hopefully a few hundred in profit, especially with that typewriter when I could get all working in that. 20 into what, 150 plus? Oosh, that's what we're all about. Also this one is my favorite because we find the weird, wonderful stuff like the typewriter. They've got a golf bag, got some vintage Pyrex. It's not just like the weekends, mainly shoes, clothing, can be that sort of thing for some reason. But yeah, when it comes to the midweek one, it's all about the cool, quirky stuff. 